The FATUS project explores aspects of human vocalization and voice synthesis largely ignored by 20th century technical research agendas which have been preoccupied with communication of semantic meaning, that is, speech as opposed to voice. Aphatic noise is a vocal sound which has no semantic content but carries effective meaning. The FATUS project aspires to create an Artodian theatre of laughing, moaning, weeping and sighing machines. <laughs> FATUS seeks to re-embody the voice, to address the embodied aspects of the voice by, for instance, emulating diaphragm movement. <laughs> Affect, one might argue, is bodily, and the convulsive vocalizations of laughing and crying, anger, pain and despair, are driven by the autonomic system. They are parts of the embodied unconscious, distant from semantic centers. The project involves the construction of several electromechanico-pneumatic machines, which emulate the behavior of lungs, larynx, and vocal cavity in the production of vocal sound. This project is an extended interdisciplinary project to build physically instantiated, physiologically inspired voice machines. This project is I refer to as the FATUS project, and the word FATUS is a, is a kind of back formation from the word fatic, and, and fatic, a fatic noise is a, is a non-linguistic vocal sound. Aesthetically, the project aims at a kind of Artodian theatre of machines, an assemblage of disquieting devices that laugh, cry, moan, rage, and sigh. Um, in terms of intellectual and historical inquiry, the project is motivated by the observation that the vast majority of human voice research over the past uh, 100 years uh, has, been has been exclusively preoccupied with speech. Um, prior to the 20th century, voice research for the previous 200 years um, had focused on making machines which emulated aspects of physiology. Uh, the big names, Kratzenstein, von Kempelen, Darwin, Wheatstone, Faber, Paget, etc. Right, so it amused me to build physically instantiated machines which had no semantics, but just had affect. Right? That's the kind of big goal. And I came up with this project um, quite a while ago now. Um, maybe 2006 it really formed as being a project to pursue. And, and I should say that when I make a choice to pursue projects, it's because they, they resonate for me on a number of different levels. So, you know, historically, it's an interesting topic. Um, uh, it's perversely amusing, and I, I, I enjoy perverse humour, and and uh, and it's also very heterogeneous in the kinds of technologies that that are involved, and, and it crosses into multiple disciplines. So it's uh, it's quintessentially interdisciplinary, and I, I, and I like that. And I, I also like the fact that the, the expression of that kind of multi-dimensional research process is, is physical artifacts rather than texts. During the residency at the Siegel Institute and the Alice Kaplan Institute at Northwestern University in fall 2010, research took three aspects. The building of a new lung bellows machine, the development of larynx devices based on musical reeds, and the production of hollow castings of idealized models of the human vocal tract shaping various vowels. <laughs>